MRSA. It's one of the most common superbugs, a staph infection that's resistant to antibiotics. Making it a bigger challenge, MRSA has two faces. It's now divided as community-acquired MRSA and hospital-acquired MRSA. These are two different organisms uh, genetically. The hospital-acquired MRSA has a different resistant pattern as well as different genetic patterns. Typically associated with invasive procedures or devices, hospital-acquired MRSA is considered the bigger hazard. The hospital-acquired MRSA is a more virulent strain and it gives infection like pneumonia or heart infection or blood stem infection. Community-based MRSA is a breed apart. It's the germ we hear about on everything from door handles, gym lockers, and airplane seats. Increased vigilance in hospitals is lowering MRSA rates there, but in the community, it's still a touchy subject. Wherever there is contact, that's when MRSA happens. Now it seems these two worlds are colliding. Doctors find this superbug is doing a double take. Both forms of infection are showing up in the other's turf. It's not as exclusive anymore, so you could have the same community acquired MRSA strain giving you infection to lead up to the hospital, whereas the hospital strain, you could find it in the uh, community as well. One thing is clear cut. Prevention is the best form of treatment. Hand washing, hand washing, hand washing. That's all. That's the best way of preventing you from getting MRSA infection. These germs are always around us or on us, and infection doesn't necessarily follow. But clean living can help you avoid double trouble. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.